Wait. Oh my goodness. Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are opening up another Harry Potter trading card box. This one I am particularly very excited about. This is the Goblet of Fire update set. Now, in this update set, you can find one of the rarest cards that Artbox, which is the company that made these, has put out. It's the quad signature. So you have signatures from the actors who play the four champions, including Daniel Radcliffe, and it's quite possible that one of them is in here. Highly doubtful, but it's possible. Now, this box is 934 out of 7,500 worldwide. See how this is significant? 934, nine and three quarters, platform nine and three quarters. So maybe this box has like some extra magic in it or something and art box thought, oh, let's put, you know, a special card or special cards in the nine and three quarters box. So let's see if this is a lucky box, but let's take a look at what we can find. So there are 90 foil stamped base cards, nine rare foil chase cards, four box topper cards, one per box, case topper cards, autograph cards, costume cards, prop cards, and cinema film cell cards. Now, those special cards are not guaranteed in each box. So there may be, you know, one in here, there may be two, there may be three. We'll just have to open it and find out. Now, I only have a few more of these trading card boxes to open in this Harry Potter trading card box series. The price of these has jumped so high that I can't afford to continue the series, unfortunately. So there are only a few left, but we will enjoy it while it lasts. Oh man, I am so stoked about this box. All right, the first step is to break the seal. The seal has been broken. Here's the side of the box, by the way. Eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Goblet of Fire Trading Card Collector's Edition Update Set. All right, let's take a look at what that box topper card looks like. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Cool, look at this. It's a foil box topper card, and it's Harry during the first task, being chased by the Hungarian Horntail. I love that rainbow effect on the foiling. So as far as I know, Artbox doesn't even exist anymore. But when they did, and these were sold in stores, you would go into a store and see this, and then purchase the packs, or purchase a whole box, whatever you want to purchase. But this is how it was displayed. All right, we're gonna put this here like that. Very, very cool looking packs. This may be my favorite pack design of all of the boxes that we've opened so far. If you're new to this series, we have opened up eight boxes, maybe seven boxes, and pulled some really rare Harry Potter cards, autograph cards, double autograph cards, some seriously cool stuff. The nerves are really kicking in now. Please send so much magic. You never know when something's going to pop up and it usually pops up when you least expect it. Okay, I think we're safe for this pack. I didn't want it to start the first pack because I'm so nervous. This set does not have little rippy tabs, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to open them up like this. Now you can usually tell when there is a costume card or a prop card because they are significantly thicker than the others, and you can tell by looking at the side if a pack has a prop card or not. Ooh, that one's cool. Very dynamic. The Yule Ball is a dunce. Nice. Is there a bonnet? Oh, we got a film cell card. Look at that, it's in the back. Usually these are like kind of midway through. But that's cool, so we have our first rare card, we will get to it shortly though. Let's look at these, and then we'll see what scene the film cell card is from. All right, it is from when Hagrid shows Harry the dragons. And this is number 72 out of 350 worldwide. Congratulations, this Harry Potter cinema film card contains an authentic piece of film from the US theatrical trailer for Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So very cool, we pulled our first rare card. It's strange that it was in the back of the, the pack. Hermione should have been in a blue dress. I 
want to say that there is also a giveaway for this unboxing. All of the card unboxings I've done a giveaway where I give away two partial sets of the common cards. So the, the main cards that you're... Wait, we got something else. All of the special cards are in the back. We pulled it. I don't like how this is set up, but I'm very excited. Wait, wait. <gasps> Holy cow. Okay. Okay, wait. Um, What was I saying? So all of the common cards that you're seeing... Check the description down below for information on how to enter the giveaway. Let's look at this costume card. Oh my gosh, we pulled a costume card. Let's take a look. You're probably like, Peter, just look through the cards. All right, let's see whose costume it is. Here we go. <gasps> it's Flor Delacour's costume. Oh my goodness. It's like a silk. So it's her costume from the first task. Oh wow, there are a lot of these. So this is number 389 out of 1,025 available. Congratulations, this Harry Potter costume card contains authentic costume material worn by Clemens Posey as Fleur Delacour in the film Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'm not sure if I pronounced her name correctly, but that's the best I could do. So this is authentic costume material worn by one of the four champions. How cool is that? That's a beautiful fabric too, look at that. All right, we're I'm gonna put that over here and keep going. All right, here we go. So I'm not sure if autograph cards are gonna be mixed within or if they will also be in the back. We shall find out. The Dark Lord shall rise again. I'm gonna grab some scissors so that I can cut the top off and then not spoil the card if it is placed at the back. Don't worry, I will not cut the cards. All right, now we have no idea what there is. Come on, nine and three quarters pack. Give us some magic. I can touch you now. What an amazing scene this was. Oh man, you guys, this is just making me so nervous. Please keep sending that magic. So I like, you know, finding autographs, but I also like knowing what's ahead. So the surprise and suspense is a little bit scary. Seems like anything is possible with these trading cards. Oh, we got our first foil card. And it is a mermaid. Check out that cool rainbow effect. And it looks like this may be a, a puzzle too, perhaps. Now, when it comes to the giveaway, I will include the film cell card as well as the foil cards that are pulled in those sets. Oh, we got another foil card. Two in a row, that's cool. Let's see what it is. The Goblet of Fire. And we have another piece. Very cool. Let's put that there and then we'll see how much of that puzzle we can make at the end of the video here. Oh, we got another foil card. I see it flashing on the side here. That's three in a row, how on earth? Well, that was lucky. Grindy Lowe's. And looks like a little piece of the Hungarian Horntail. So it does appear that all of the special cards are in the back of these packs. Okay, this one feels different, but it's not. Okay, <laughs> I got nervous for a second. Please keep sending the magic. We need to pull an autograph. So nervous. I wanna say again, if you're new to this series, definitely check out the other videos that were filmed. I mean, the excitement of these cards and pulling autographs and other rare things is so fun. Looks like another foil card. No, no. Second champion. All right, we have Harry Potter himself. Again, nice rainbow effect. 
and this features a Grindy Low, and it's number seven. So there's a little number at the top here of nine. So we have four of the nine, which is nice. All right, moving right along. Oh, another foil card, oh my goodness. There are so many foil cards in here. This is amazing. It's Harry again, and Hedwig is bringing him a letter. Number three, with more Hungarian horntail. Now the other scary thing about these boxes and sets are that there's a thing called a redemption card, and a redemption card is something that you send into the company to redeem an autographed card. The problem is all the redemption cards haven't expired and I don't think the company still exists. So if we get a redemption card, we won't get an autograph. We are coming down to the wire here. Anything is possible with this set. Final four packs. Oh man, three packs left, three packs. Send that magic. We need all the magic we can muster. Oh man, two packs left. Come on box nine and three quarters. Final pack. Will we get lucky? Send some magic. <sighs> Nothing. No autograph card. Wow, that was nerve wracking and very disappointing. But we did get this costume card worn by one of the champions, as well as the film cell card. Let's see how much of this puzzle we can make with these cards here. All right, so this fits like that. And then this probably goes down here. And this Grindy Low goes there. And this goes here. So that's what we made. So we have the rest of the dragon whatever this says, and then down here as well that we're missing. Don't forget about the giveaway. Check the description down below to see how you can win some of these magical cards right here, as well as these randomly inserted foil chase cards. So I will randomly insert these foil chase cards into those two sets. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?